Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Constructu. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about animation and how it works differently with the different items in the game. So what we just did is we imported a tile set or a sprite sheet. Now, typically a sprite sheet is going to be something like this. It's going to be a bunch of images that you're going to play one after another. So this is our dude we're going to use later. And as you can see, it starts off with him standing and slowly transforms to him running. And once we play these images right after each other, it's going to look like he's moving into a run. But if you're thinking about it, we don't want this to happen with the world. We don't want the ground, the ground like changing images and moving around or doing anything stupid like that. So what we need to do is we need to tell Construct2 to treat the world a little bit differently than you would treat like a moving character or an enemy. Now we're basically gonna say don't animate this at all. So how do we say that? Well with all of this uh, loaded up in this window right here to the right called animations select default animation. Now this is basically the settings of how do you want these tiles to be animated? Well of course they're not gonna be moving so we don't want them to be animated at all. So for this animation speed in your default properties, and again, make sure that you have this default selected, change it from five to zero. Basically saying whenever we have like a piece of the ground or a platform that the dude's gonna hop on, don't change it to another frame or another image, just keep it the same. So default speed zero, we're good to go. Now, anytime we use these images, they're not gonna be moving around or changing. So now we can actually close this out and as you can see, the first image appears on the screen. So again, these are the pieces that we're going to be able to snap together and make the world for the dude. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, this image right here actually isn't the one I wanted to use. I wanted to use a different frame in that tile set. So in order to change it, if I select it, what I'm going to do is put initial frame to one and hit enter. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys could just tell, but it changed slightly. Here, let me show you guys again. There is zero, keep your eye on that tile, and there is one. So this is the one I'm gonna use for that first piece of the platform. And actually, if you wanna make more pieces of this, then what you can do is, once it's selected, hold down Control and click and drag this. And just go ahead and do it again. And all right, so this is looking kind of like a ground, but obviously these pieces are all the left edges. So what we actually need is a center piece and a right piece. So go ahead and click the center one and the frame for this, we can actually change this to 10 and hit enter. And obviously with your sheet, you're gonna have to look what image goes where, but for now, I actually uh, just remembered them. So the middle one is 10 and the right one is 13. So hit enter and look at that. And also another uh, shortcut that you can use is if you don't remember all what number corresponds to what image, like you probably don't, what you can do is you can actually just take any of these and double click it and then you can see all of them real quick. So you can either just uh, select it or you know just a reference of, okay, what one was the middle one? Uh, oh yeah, it was 10 right here, so you know. So basically, now that we have all of these tiles imported, the next thing I want to do is move them all together so we don't have this weird gap in between. So let's just say we're going we're gonna to put this here to start. And I'm just going to take this and let me try to get it perfectly. All right. I don't, I don't know if they're really lined up. You see, I'm getting that little gap in between. So what you can do to make this like a thousand times easier is this. Now on the top bar, and maybe I should just wait to the, uh, the next time. Actually, yeah, this video is getting kind of long. So in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. Well, I don't know if I just have time. I'll just show you guys real quick. Under the view tab, hit snap to grid. And what this is going to allow you to do is snap around in a perfectly coordinated system. So if you select this first one, and let's say you want to move it right there then select this second one it's going to 
it's pretty much going to turn your game into an invisible grid and allow you to move these tiles only within that grid. So now you can see you can easily snap that baby perfectly where you wanted it. So now that we got these snap perfectly where we wanted it, you might as well leave this on right now because it's not really hurting anything right now. And also, if your tiles are a different size, then you're going to want to change that right here. But I know mine are each 32 by 32. So, uh, or, um, uh, what's it called? When a number goes, these numbers are divisible by 32, like a 64, 16. So, um, that's why I chose that. But anyways, this tutorial is getting long and my mouth is getting dry actually. So I'm going to go chug some water. You guys practice snapping your uh, world together. And in the next video, you know what we're going to be doing? Adding that player. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys then.